Creek traffic, Cherokee 6543 Whiskey is back to Axiom 22. Goose Creek. So thanks for joining this week's video. I'm going to be flying out from my home field at 2-8 Alpha Goose Creek Airport, just south of Charlotte, over to a grass field, a 2,500 foot grass field called York Airport, 01C or Charlie 01SC. It is about six or seven miles uh, west of Rock Hill, York County, which is where I flew for my last video. Um, it's the first time in a couple years that I flew uh, or that I landed or, or took off from a grass field, so I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and I hope you guys enjoy. So let's go ahead and uh, do our takeoff configuration and run up. All right, brake set, controls, three, and clear. Flaps, uh, we're going to do one flaps today. I got 36 gallons of fuel, 18 in each tank. I'm flying by myself. Uh, weather is not 100 degrees and humid. It's probably in the low 80s. So uh, one notch of flap should take us over those uh, obstacles or those trees at the other end of the runway. All right, trim, neutral. Mixture in, car peat off, transponder altitude, flight instruments are all good. Fuel tank is on left tank. They both have equal amount of fuel. Fuel pump on. All right, electric fuel pump on. Engine instruments are all in the green. Uh, seat belts and doors. Good. Run up. Double check the brakes, and uh, so I, I like to set the parking brake, but I also like to put my my, my feet on the uh, on the pedal brakes or on the brakes on the pedal or rudder pedals because um, just in case this goes out, I don't want to drift into the runway in somebody's in somebody's way, especially if they're going to be landing. So I'm going to go ahead and run this up to with my feet on the brakes and parking brake set. Run this up to 1800 and check the max. All right, right mag check. All right, we have about a about a 150 160 drop. The plane feels good. No major vibrations. Back to 1800. All right, steady at 1800. Now we check the left. Uh, might need a little, a little clearing, so I'm going to go ahead and put it back to both and um, keep the throttle at 1800, and then take some of the mixture out, just so it drops a few hundred RPM, and that'll let a little bit. Uh, basically, I'm, what I'm doing right now is I'm leaning it out, introducing some more air into the car, into the uh, into the system, and that should blow whatever carbon. Uh, residue or soot is on the uh, on the mag, so I'm going to go ahead and let that run for a little bit. Give it just a little bit of RPM to get some more air blowing in there, and then take that extra little bit of RPM out. Put the mixture back in full, steady at 1800. Now let's check the left mag. Oh yeah, much nicer. About 110 drop, and real smooth. All right, we have suction at four and a half. Um, we got a good charge, so let's see. We got a right mag, left mag, carp heat. All right, let's check carp heat. Take out the carp heat. Got about a 40 drop, and it's uh, pumping heat, and there's obviously no ice. All right, suction at four. All instruments are in the green. Throttle back to 1,000. All right, and now what I like to do, I like to do what's called an idle check, so I'm back at 1,000, and then I like to just idle the throttle. Make sure the plane doesn't stall out on me. That's the last thing I want is for the engine to stall out when I am on short final. Going into a short field, surrounded by trees. All right, and we are good to go. Right on. Goose Creek traffic, Cherokee 6543 Whiskey is taking off 2-2. We'll be departing the pattern on a runway heading. Goose Creek. All right, we got our one flaps. Real cross, cross check, real quick. Trim. All right, let's go. Bottle up. Takeoff RPM is good and steady. Speed is alive. 50, 60, 65, 70. Rotate. And we'll climb out at about 75 miles an hour, 65 knots. And then when we get over these trees, which will be here in a very short bit, I'll go ahead and drop the flaps from 1 to 0. And then when I go ahead and do that, I'm going to keep the nose exactly where it's at. And then the plane uh, will speed, it tends to speed up to 85 miles an hour. So there we are. Now we're passing through 80.
As you can see from my flight path, it's a little disjointed. It's not a straight line. I'm currently under a 3,600-foot Bravo ceiling, and just to the north of me or to the right of my flight path is a 1,800-foot Bravo ceiling. So I've uh, waypointed myself to go around that. Also, another uh, point of, uh, of safety that I wanted to implement here is um, the waypoint that goes around 1,800-foot ceiling. If I were to uh, do it direct over to my destination of 01, uh, Sierra Charlie, I'd go, I would be around one mile south of Rock Hill Airport at 900 feet above their pattern altitude. And I did not want to run any interference with any uh, landing or, or departing aircraft. And so what I'm going to do is I, I've actually waypointed myself a little bit uh, further to the north than I needed to be. And, and that way what I'm going to do is cross over midfield at Rock Hill and then um, and then come in uh, from a little bit of a more easterly heading instead of a southeasterly heading to my destination airport. And that way I can just stay clear of uh, any inbound or outbound traffic and just fly over midfield at Rock Hill. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be crossing over Rock Hill Airport at midfield and then beginning my descent into, um, into York Airport. And so my strategy for this, just to be on the safe side, is I'm going to be coming in. I've set my waypoint so that I come in perpendicular to the runway so that I can have the largest uh, field of view or, or, or my largest field of vision. Uh, for the runway, so it's just it's just basically uh, right in front of me from left to right, and that way I'm hoping that I can uh, go ahead and find it easier. And you can see on my map here as I pull up uh, aerial view, uh, that's how I sort of set up my, my approach into the airport. Uh, winds today are favoring uh, runway 18, so what I'll probably do once I have visual on it is fly out a little bit south and enter a 45 for a downwind for 18. All right, so I just spotted the airport. Um, I spotted it when it was right under me, so I was a little too close to enter the pattern, because I am, I am still a little high. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, fly south of the airport a little bit and then come in at an angle where I can enter a 45 for downwind. I just barely see the airport there out of the back right window, so I'm going to go ahead and turn now. And I can line myself up for a 45. York traffic, Cherokee 6543, Whiskers in area 45 for downwind 18. York traffic. All right, let's go ahead and throttle down. Begin our descent, throttle down 1700. Pop one notch of flaps and trim up twice. Or I should say three times. Old flight school trick that works every time. Well, not every time, but it works most of the time. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make this a two flap landing. There aren't any obstacles uh, on, on, in the uh, direction of runway 18. And so what I'm going to do is just uh, try to shallow it in a little bit. York traffic, Cherokee 6543, Whiskey is turning base 18. York traffic. All right, we'll go ahead and throttle down. I am high. There is no one on final. I'm going to pop two flaps here, and trim up, then turn final. York traffic, Cherokee 6543, Whiskey is turning final 18. York traffic. All right, the speed is good. I, I feel a little high, so I'm going to just slip this in. I'm going to right aileron and left rudder and just kind of drop some altitude here. Yep, looking good. Altitude drop is looking good. All right, I'll go ahead and straighten it out, give it a little bit of power. All right, speed is at 80. All right. Yeah, uh, have cleared any obstacles, so I'm going to go ahead and just idle down to idle down to throttle and then begin my rollout. Looks like there's a little bit of an incline here. Compensate for that. All right. All right. I want to go ahead and uh, pull the yoke back a little bit to take some pressure off the the main gear, or excuse me, the uh, nose gear, and then let the aircraft kind of slow itself down. We still got about a thousand foot in front of me, and I'll go ahead and just tap the brakes. Well, this was a lot of fun. I uh, first time landing in a, in a grass strip in a couple of years and uh, all familiar airport and 
it was uh, much more adventurous than I thought it would be. So I, I had a lot of fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe for more weekly flying videos. Bye-bye.